Hi friends, welcome to this session and in this video we will be learning about private registry. In our previous session what we did is we pushed all our images to Docker Hub by creating an account. But if you want to have all your images private then what you can do is you can create a private registry. Okay, which you know in real time is basically um, you will have the registry running in your own environment means in your server or it can be your if it is a cloud based you can have your own uh, cloud based registry and you can pull and push your images so docker basically provides us an open source project for registry which we can download and run it so if you go to docker hub and search for registry and official images you can see that there is a registry image which you can download and run it so if you see the description what it says is run a local registry quick version you know just copy this command here and then we are ready to go that means our private registry is now up and running so let's do that uh, let's copy this command okay and what it is going to do is it's going to basically download registry image with tag version 2 so let's go to our command prompt and paste it here and you can see that we have uh, an option called restart so this is basically it's a restart policy that uh, will be applied to the container so whenever we restart our system for example then the container will also be started along with the docker okay so it basically um, also what it does is every time a container exited okay gets exited then it will try to restart it okay so that's what always means so let's try to run this and it wasn't able to find the image locally so it pulled it now let's check the container and you can see that we have a registry running and it's listening to port number 5000 okay so now what next now what we'll do is um we'll try to push an image let's go back to the description and what it says is it's trying to pull an ubuntu image and then trying to tag it and then push it and look at here that you need to have your image name with localhost 5000 if you are running your you know uh, private registry remote somewhere in a, in a different server or different machine then you need to have the ip address of it and the port number if, or you can also have its uh, uh, domain name here okay but as we are running this registry locally that is everything is running on the same machine so what we can do is we can use localhost so let's try to do that uh, first let's check our images uh, what we are going to do you can see that we have now image registry image so what we'll do is we will try to push gain it gyan hello world to our registry let's see how we can do first thing is we need to change the name and the name should have um, a prefix of localhost 5000 remember that you know in our previous session what we did is we looked at the the version sorry the f format of your push uh, command where if you're trying to push it to the registry you need to have first the the uh, name of the uh, or the ip address or the domain name in our pre uh, in our previous example we had docker.io and here we are going to have it is something like localhost 5000 and then followed by the account name that is the username then the docker email uh, doc, that is the next is the repository name okay so let's try to do the same here first thing is let's name this image tag and i will name it as uh, this is the source and the destination so the source is our let's see the format of tag quickly here and it says source tag name okay 
source tag is seven b f seven five. Okay, I'm just giving the image ID. Then local post five thousand slash again it again. Then slash it is hello world. And you can see that format is first is the domain name or it can be an IP address then followed by the account name or the username and then the repository name. So that is basically the format that you need to follow when you're trying to push and pull from the registry. So let's hit enter and see okay now the image uh, now we have an image and it's the same id so what i'll do is i'll remove the older one docker image rm and i'll say gain id slash hello world okay so now perfect so we just have one image now let's try to push to our private registry so how we can do that uh, we know we have a push command we can use that followed by the repository name and that is nothing but r you can use uh, image id or the repository name so let's use the repository name 5000 hello world and let's see what happens now and you can see the push refers to the repository and you got the you, it says pushed so our image that we created is now pushed to our private registry not to the to the docker hub okay it has in our previous example that we saw okay good so how can we now try to pull because it's already available here how do we pull it it's again same uh, you know same uh, we have a pull command but before that to demo pull let's try to remove this image okay and then do the pull so let's do that docker image rm f75 okay so i removed it now let's see okay i don't have the image now let's try to pull and what I'm going to do is this time okay that's it so what it will do it will pull the image from my private registry and you can see that the pull was complete and the tag was latest so now let's try to check the images and you can see it is available perfect so these are the basic uh, commands that you can use you know uh, when working with private registry and if you go back to our docker hub also there is you know good description and explanation for for docker registry and you can see that why to use it and it has all the basic commands here you can use and we just did all this okay so yeah i would recommend you to go through this uh, documentation and also you know uh, this is just all command prompt that we did okay but you can also have an ui interface for your private registry and you can search the docker hub um, and find one ui for the registry and by which you, you know you can then um, interact with your registry so that's all for this video and i will see you in the next